So right now, um, we have a sauce simmer in here. Um, it smells really good. Um, what's in it? Okay, so uh, this is five cans of Italian tomatoes that have been pureed in a blender. Uh -huh. Then you add half of a can of tomato paste. It's about four ounces of tomato paste. Mm -hmm. uh, then you um, add in salt and pepper to taste. Uh -huh. I like my food a little saltier, so I probably added too much, but that's okay, okay for me. <laughs> you add in uh, a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. I like things a little spicier, so I added a little bit more. Me too. And then you add a teaspoon of baking soda and mix it all uh, together. Okay. Uh, and then let it simmer, uh, not simmer, you actually cook it on medium heat. And we're gonna need to cook this for about two hours mm -hmm. when the moment we start it to the moment it's done. It's about a two hour process. Hey guys, so right now we're going to make the most important part of your marinara sauce. This is where allegedly all the flavors come from. Yes, all the flavor comes from the sofrita, which uh, is uh, it's the vegetables we're going to food process with some olive oil and then we're going to cook up and then mix it into the tomato sauce, which we already have uh, simmering right now. Okay. So step one is you're going to take about uh, one giant yellow onion um, and chop it up. You don't have to chop it up real fine because okay. we're going to food process it anyway. So we'll dump that into there. Next is the same, roughly the same size of a bell pepper. Um, you're not going to get as much out of a bell pepper with the same size, but a one giant big bell pepper will work for this as well. Okay. Uh, one, one and a half carrots, same kind of thing. Uh, about six to eight cloves of garlic. Once again, it doesn't have to be chopped up too fine because we're just adding mm -hmm. uh, it to the food processor. And then about a quarter of a cup to a half a cup of olive oil, depending on how much of all the other stuff you have. Okay. So then we put that all together. And then we're gonna put that in the food processor and get it until it's nice and chopped up. Awesome. consistency that we need the sofrito to be at. You just want it all mixed together and it needs to it needs to look like this. I don't know how to better like hummus? Just, eh, that's a good uh, explanation. Hummus is okay. not a bad you want it to be thick but not so much that it you know sticks to it. It should be able to slide off and move okay. pretty easily. Okay. So basically I think hummus is a good comparison. I think that's a great one. Where it's not liquefied. Correct. Got it. Okay. So now let's turn this on. So how high should we set the oven? Or We're going to put this up? on medium heat. Okay. And you don't need to add any olive oil to the pan because um, we already have olive oil in the, the sofrita. Okay. You want to cook this over medium heat for about 20 minutes. And the reason you do that is you want to cook the onions because nobody's going to want to eat a raw onion in the right. sauce. Um, but you want to constantly be stirring it. Oh, we're just going to take that whole big piece of carrot. Okay. Let's get it. Okay. Um, you want to constantly be stirring it because um, garlic has the, uh, the possibility of burning very quickly if it stays on the pan for too long. Mm -hmm. And overcooked garlic has a very bitter taste to it. So you want to technically be cooking this for about 20 minutes, just constantly stirring it and letting it cook. And you'll know when it cooks because it, 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 it takes 20 minutes. So. Um, <laughs> The onions cook, the carrots cook, and it changes colors to be a little bit of a okay. darker green. Okay. So once it changes color after 20 minutes. But yeah, about 20 minutes. Hey guys, so right now we're going to be adding the sofrita to the sauce. That's correct. So, All right, so. do you want to hold it or do you yes. want me to do it? No, I'll hold it. Okay. So this is where all the magic happens. This is where all of that good flavor of the onion, the pepper, the carrots, the garlic, uh -huh. uh, the olive oil, you mix all of it into the sauce. Okay. I'm sorry, my mother would kill me if I didn't get all of it out of here right here. Mix that in. As you can see, it's a lot darker green color now than it was when we started the sofrita. Uh -huh. So we mix that in. So. You were telling me earlier your mom has like this secret ingredient. It's true. There's the secret ingredient which now is, this is the time you add. So okay. once you get the sofrita in and you mix it all in, mm -hmm. the secret ingredient to the Dagnelli uh, marinara sauce is the same kind of bitters you would put into a whiskey cocktail or in a Manhattan or anything like that. Um, it's not a lot because this stuff is obviously super uh, strong and pungent. It's literally three drops. One, two, three. Oh, fourth one fell. Okay, there it is. <laughs> it's going to be extra special. It's going to be extra special. So just a couple drops of bitters. And now we're going to let this sit here simmering for about, I'd say about an hour and a half, 
two hours starting at this point. Uh -huh. So now we're gonna have to start working on the meatballs, which we will add to the sauce and let it all simmer together and make all that, uh, the flavor from the meat and all the meatballs join the flavors of the sauce and we'll be done at this. Great, awesome, looking forward to it.